Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to run you through every essential item that I take with me to every single DJ gig, including the bag that I am currently using. Now bear in mind, this is for nightclub gigs, assuming that the nightclub has a full CDJ setup, so not including the controller that I might take from time to time. Let's get straight into it. Kicking things off then, let's talk about the actual bag that I'm taking to all my gigs currently. This is the UDG Ultimate Slim Backpack. It has a slimmer profile than other DJ bags on the market. Now, I like this particular backpack because it has lots and lots of pockets, lots of sections within those pockets compartments etc and I think when you are selecting a DJ bag lots of compartments lots of space for all of your stuff cables accessories is so so important now when it comes to UDG I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with them I love them because their bags are very well designed and it really maximizes the space however I really dislike two things with UDG. Number one, the price of their bags. I think they are overpriced. I think it's just a brand thing that it's an expensive brand. And number two, the build quality. Now, very, very functional bags in terms of all the compartments and things, but a UDG bag, in my opinion, does not stay looking very new for very long. I've had bags in the past where the zips fail and Really, I just think that they're not as rugged as they ought to be, especially if you're chucking this in and out of the car and it's gonna be battered and thrown around in nightclubs. That being said, the reason why I've selected this bag is because it was on like a 50% deal at the time. I wouldn't pay full price for UDG. In fact, I've got another review of a really cheap DJ bag on the market that I just got from Amazon. Unfortunately, one of the straps did break, but I feel less angry about that because it was like a 20 pound bag versus this, which costs about 120 pounds. So do bear that in mind. So that is the bag itself. Now let's cover off all of those essential items that I'm taking with me to every gig. Kicking off with this, this is my DJing laptop. I only use this for DJing, it's got nothing else on it apart from music and my music software. And that is my Apple MacBook Pro 14 inch. Now I have done an unboxing video and review of this laptop if you are interested, links down in the description below. But that pretty much lives in my DJ bag apart from when I am downloading music and that is the sole laptop that I use for DJing. Now of course coupled with the laptop I have the charger which is the MagSafe charger. I should probably buy a spare one of these. They are very pricey to buy on their own, but yeah, that just also lives in the bag. To go with my laptop, I also have my laptop stand. Now, in my opinion, it needs to be a foldable laptop stand. I don't wanna be carrying this under my arm. It's quite awkward to carry when it is assembled. This is a Nova Pro laptop stand. I've got a review on this on the channel, but yeah, laptop stand comes with me to every gig. A little bit heavy, but it's a necessity. Moving on then to headphones, and I have a little headphone bag here that actually I think I found, or someone gave it to me, I can't remember. But in here is my Sennheiser HD25 headphones. Really, really robust pair of headphones. If you know anything about me and you've watched this channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love these headphones. These are my go-to and they literally live in my DJ bag and come with me to every gig. Now to coincide with my headphones, the other item that I also take with me are the quarter inch jack adapters. I don't know if that's gonna focus on the camera, but you can pick these up off of Amazon. This is just in case I lose the ones that are on the headphones themselves and they just come in like a little pack like that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah, they just uh, they come in a box and they just live in the DJ bag if I ever need a spare. Next thing on the list is my microphone. So a lot of the commercial clubs that I work in require me to talk on the mic. And typically microphones in nightclubs generally are like they're, they're just not that great I find so I like to take my own. I use a Shure SM58. This is just the wired version. I have of course got a radio mic as well which is a, a luxury item but I would say all you need is the wired version. You can see how worn it is from the paintwork but this is literally about sort of 12 years old now. Uh, never needed to replace it. So yeah a Shure SM58 lives 
in my bag. And then together with that, I have two microphone cables because again, the quality of XLR cables in nightclubs, I find just to be quite poor. Now I have two versions. So I have a standard XLR to XLR cable. And then I also have an XLR to jack cable just to accommodate for different mixer types. Uh, that's the only reason I do that really. But yeah, XLR cables to go with the mic. Now, once again, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know that I use record box, but in export mode. And to enable that, I need the CDJs and the mixer linked together via ethernet in the nightclubs. And some clubs just don't do this, or they have one ethernet running from one CDJ into the other. So to enable me to DJ comfortably, I take with me loads of ethernet cables. Nothing too fancy, I just take lots of them with me to ensure that they're working. And then a, a further ethernet cable with the USB-C adapter um, to plug into my laptop. And then in order to connect it all together, I also take along an ethernet hub with me. This is really, really cheap, uh, about 20 pounds or $25 US. But yeah, it's just from Netgear and it just links everything together nice and seamlessly. Last bit of hardware that I really take with me, and this just sits in the bottom of my bag, is the RCA cables. Again, because nightclubs, the quality of RCA cables is just quite temperamental, especially here in the UK. So I do take with me some spares and they're quite nice ones. And then finally, just to round things off, I take with me a load of USB sticks. So this is just in case um, the CDJs fail or my laptop fails. I've got USB backups with lots of mixes and tracks on there. So just in case of any laptop failure. And of course, I like to smell fresh at my DJ gig. So I do take a bottle of my favorite aftershave with me as well, but that's just like a little extra. And there we have it guys, that is what is in my DJ bag. 2022, every essential item that I take with me to club gigs to ensure that I can perform and I'm comfortable at those gigs. Let me know what you take in your DJ bags down in the comments down below. And I hope this has been useful, especially if you are packing a DJ bag for the first time for your first club gig. If you haven't yet subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that button over there for me. I will be forever grateful. And if you haven't seen my last video, please do check out up there and I will see you in the next one.